experience hypnosis file recorded by the Lexi for you to react to and be hypnotized by. It will guide you into trance, have you experiencing a number of fun hypnotic convulsions and then wake you up and back to normal with full recall. The only persistent suggestion it will give you is that if you'd like to go under for me in future, you can do so very easily. This induction is only short, so this video is best suited to someone who's been hypnotised before, or is very open-minded and, or, loves the idea of being compelled to do some moderately naughty stage hypnosis style suggestions. Posing, reciting back mindless mantras, finding that your body just won't obey you, and possibly undressing, who knows? If you're watching this on YouTube, then the suggestions are actually listed in the video description. Feel free to look through them, or we can jump right in. If you're ready to begin, make your room nice and relaxing, and we'll get started. Ready to relax? Good. Begin by taking a nice, deep breath, and just relax back into your seat. It's a familiar feeling or at least one that you've thought about, perhaps quite often. An idea that you enjoy, a thought that you're drawn to, because it feels good to have no cares, to have no worries, to feel all your everyday stresses just melt away whilst you're hypnotised, whilst you're compelled, whilst you're enchanted, which is why you're already feeling pretty chilled out focused and following my words, happy to have them guide you. Perhaps feeling a sense of excitement in your tummy, whilst at the same time feeling a growing sensation of relaxation in your muscles. Letting yourself be still, letting your body relax, letting each group of muscles empty themselves of tension. Feel a growing weightiness in your legs your arms, your chest, breathing easily, enjoying the way that each breath seems to soothe you, the way each tick of time relaxes you, and the way that each word I speak engages you more and more. Washes away those everyday thoughts, washes away those responsibilities, washes away all worries and stress, because it feels good to be hypnotised, feels good to drop deep, it's good to feel your thoughts slowing down as your eyes grow heavy, as you start to feel like you can't stop yourself, but then why would you want to? It's fun for a while for your imagination to take over, fun for a while for someone else to call the shots, fun to find that whilst you might try to resist, whilst you might try to keep those eyes open, whilst you might make the attempt to stop yourself from sinking and dropping and melting and relaxing. You, you can't seem to try very hard, not unless there's some kind of emergency, and if there's no emergency, then you don't really want to be able to rouse yourself to you. It's better being blank and calm and blissed out, isn't it? Better being dazed than spacey, feeling those eyelids becoming so heavy. Better just listening and following and letting my words strip away all of your stress, filling you with warm and wonderful feelings of peace, powerlessness, relaxation, engagement, enthrallment. Because honestly, right now, Whilst it might be fun to try to fight, it feels better to slip under, doesn't it? And whilst you might enjoy trying to keep those eyes open, it's such a fun feeling to find that you can't, to find them closing all by themselves. And whilst you might think that you want to think about and analyse this, it's far more enjoyable. Feeling those thoughts unravel, feeling your mind unwind as your senses slip away whilst you relax for me. Because you're here to be hypnotised. Because you're here to drop deep. You're here to be played with for a while. Here to relax 
and follow and sleep. Good. Dropping deeply for me now. Letting your body feel like it's completely boundless. Letting yourself relax and melt and rest. Just like you're a rag doll. Just like with no attention whatsoever left inside you. Every single muscle limp. Every bit of your body heavy. Every small micro muscle on your face totally relaxed. Drifting down deeply to the point of perfect openness. Drifting down deeply to a place where it's the easiest thing in the world to feel and follow and think whatever I might suggest. Drifting down as deeply as you could wish to, whilst enjoying the idea of responding and reacting to these next enough suggestions with as much imagination as you can muster. Drifting deeply until you feel totally ready to follow and respond and obey. Good. For the rest of this session, you'll sleep easily, automatically and unthinkingly every time I tell you to sleep. And you'll wake, feeling wonderful, energised, lively, imaginative, refreshed and ready to respond every time I tell you to wake. But not yet. Sleep. Because first. This suggestion is called Night Night. Now, in a moment, you'll wake feeling wonderful and refreshed, but you won't recall being hypnotised. You won't believe it worked. And you'll be pretty sceptical about the idea that you even went under. That is, until I say the phrase, night-night. I say the phrase night-night, suddenly your dominant hand develops a mind all of its own. It will raise in the air. It will weave around hypnotically towards anyone viewing, and then towards yourself. At first, this may confuse you, then it will amuse you, and when you're trying to get it back under your control, which you can't, it will enchant you, relaxing you, spiralling down towards your forehead and making you feel so sleepy and spellbound that it does this. It will tease you to the edge of sleepiness a few times, making you blank, bringing you back, and then it will boop, poke you in the middle of your forehead and you'll sleep back into trance. With all those suggestions firmly in place, Waking up, feeling lively but sceptical in three, two, one, wake. Okay, wide awake now. I imagine you are very deeply hypnotised. What do you think? No. <laughs> I feel fine. How about if I say night night? Does that make you feel a little bit different? Does that make your hand do anything odd? Yeah. <laughs> this is very strange, isn't it? Yeah. If you haven't gone already, it's going to boop you and send you to sleep now. Night, night. Dropping deep and sleep. Wonderful. Dropping deeper, feeling better. So relaxed. So happy. So content so amused. It feels good to fall out, to feel yourself falling, to fail to resist. Dropping deeper every single time I tell you to sleep and getting ready to respond. Because now it's time to feel blank and empty. So find your mind slipping into neutral, all your thoughts unravelling and melting away, like you're not even a person anymore. Like you're a doll, like you're a puppet, like you're just a spellbound and obedient toy, a decorative plaything, awaiting orders. Not feeling so heavy anymore, easily able now to move on my command, but it feels like all your emotions are gone, like your personality just isn't there, like it's vanished, like you're an automaton, a drone, a doll. 
easily able to move and speak, but only when I command it. When I say the word blank, this is how you feel. When I say the word release, you come back to your senses, reacting to whatever situation you might find yourself in. But first, blank. Sit up straight in your seat, your shoulders back, your knees together, your feet apart, your lips parted, your eyes open wide and unthinking, now eyes open. Tell me you are a happy, spellbound plaything. I am a happy, spellbound plaything. Tell me you're a blank and brainless toy. I am a blank and brainless toy. Tell me that you're ready to obey. I am ready to obey. That's good. Feels so wonderful being blank and empty. Feels so perfect having your mind on hold. Still so blank. Still so obedient. Still following every single command. Now, stand to attention, your eyes up, gazing into space. Perfectly motionless, perfectly attentive, all traces of humanity missing, all personality gone. Now, pose for inspection, legs wide, hands behind your head. Imagine being inspected, being assessed from all sides, like you're not a person like you're a mannequin in a shop window. Now strike a macho man muscle flexing pose now. And another. Now strike a cute scaly cheesecake pin up pose now. And another. And one more. Now pose like an anime character, making peace signs and sticking out your tongue. Coming to your senses and reacting to finding yourself in this position in three, two, one, release. Right. Tell us how you feel and what that was like. <laughs> that was weird. Just listening and just following everything was all I could do. It's a weird one. <laughs> Now it's time to drop again. Find that hand going straight for the sleepy spot, as I say, night night. Good. Dropping so easily every single time. Feeling so blissful and wonderful every time you drop for me. This next suggestion is called float. In a moment you'll wake feeling fun and chatty, lively but breathy and wanting to resist. Surely you're not this easy to control. Surely you can float, right? On waking, when I use the word float, you'll find your hands begin to rise in the air like them on strings. The higher they rise, the more blank and thoughtless you feel. Once your hands are at shoulder height, you'll be dazed, blank, a sleepwalker, dumbstruck, and blissfully brainless. You can try to fight it as your hands start to raise, but only for a little while. You can try to resist, but the fall becomes stronger, and the higher those hands float, the more you'll feel like your mind is melting away. Now, waking, feeling lively and chatty, bratty, and believing incorrectly that you're going to resist this in three, two, one, awake. Oh, hello again, my spellbound plaything. Did you fall asleep? Um, I don't know, but I'm not a spellbound thing. I'm afraid I'm not done with you yet. No matter how much you might think you can resist. I can resist, though. Watch no. what happens when I say float. Nothing, just my hands are moving. That's not anything, like... Trying to stop yourself. Oh, I'm not sure that's going to last. Ha! 
pants floating to your shoulders, your mind all gone. Now, why don't you walk around like a sleepy headed sleepwalker for me? Now, off you go. Back and forth. Slow, sleepy steps. No thoughts in your mind. No expression in your face. If you encounter an obstacle, you just bump off it and turn around. Tick, tocking, back and forth. Good. Sleepwalking dreamily. Then release and return to normal. You're back in the room. Well, this is very fun, isn't it? Tell I, us how you're doing. I just don't get it. It's just, I have to just, the words just make me go and do it. It's weird. Lovely to hear that. Now, if you could just get comfortable for me, take a nice deep breath in and sleep, sleep and drop deep, good. Now I think we'll play with the sensation of being tickled. In a moment you'll wake feeling wonderful, but the moment I say tickle tickle, both of your hands will develop a mind of their own and both of your hands will start to tickle you. Somehow you can tickle yourself. You won't be able to control your reaction or contain your giggles and laughs at all until I say release. When I say release, you can stop. Now, waking feeling suspicious and toyed with because for some reason you can't recall what suggestion I just gave you. Wide awake feeling bemused and confused in three, two, one, wide awake. Oh, there you are again. Looks like you nodded off. Uh, Have you been sleepwalking again? I in don't. mental trap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Confusing, but I can't control it. It's a weird one. Oh, I, that reminds me. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> what? Oh dear, are your hands misbehaving again? Yeah, but I tickle, can't tickle, tickle, stop tickle. it. Sorry to do that to you. Release, release, and come back under your own control for a moment at least. Doing okay there? Mm hmm. Oh, good. Now, I hope you didn't have any other plans because it's time to drop again. Three, two, one, sleep. That's right, dropping deeply, bonelessly, brainlessly, blissfully, scared. Now, remember feeling blank and feel blank once more, blank and mindless and sitting up straight now, blank and empty headed and standing to attention now, blank and calm and carefree and stand as though you're about to be strip searched, hands wide and up, legs wide. Now, in a moment your hands are going to tickle you once again. They're going to rove all over your body, pinching and tweaking and tickling just like before, only you're not going to feel it yet. Whilst you're blank, the sensation of being tickled is meaningless because there's no mind to react to it, no person to experience it. It's simply a sensation being recorded for later. You won't consciously register any of the tickles until I use the word replay. When I use the word replay, everything you're doing is going to hit you all at once. When I use the word replay, every sensation that you're about to experience will hit you in a powerful, irresistible wave of ticklish jiggles and laughter. 
find that now. Still blank, no reaction just yet, but your hands moving all by themselves. Tickle, tickle. The hands finding all those sensitive spots. Tickle, tickle. Fingertips poking and squeezing in all the ways that would make you jerk and squeal and get out of the way ordinarily. But not just yet. Tickle, tickle. Right now, just recording all of this for later. Good. Now, stand to attention and salute. Feeling like nothing's out of place, except for the fact that you're saluting for some reason. Waking in three, two, one. Wide awake. Oh, hello there. Hello. What have you been up to? I don't know. <laughs> Standing up, apparently. So there is that. So, are you feeling normal? Not like you've walked into a trap or anything, hopefully. No, I, I think I'm okay. I think I'm normal. <laughs> as normal as I can be. Oh, that's good. But what about if I say it's time for a little replay? <laughs> oh my god. hold of yourself. Replay and you can try to stop those giggles. Now release and feel normal again. I hope you enjoy yourself. What's it like for you? Overwhelming. Like overwhelmingly everything was there. Everything was everywhere. And uh, my hands couldn't stop it. Nothing could stop it. <sighs> Now, sleep and drop deep once more. Now, in a moment, things are going to get a little more not safe for work, if that's all right with you. If it's not, you can stop there and you can feel every strange sensation and suggestion being removed from your mind. You'll pause this file, you'll feel yourself return to normal and you'll wake, feeling energised and lively, recording everything just fine in one minute's time. Pause the file now, if you'd like to end it there. Thank you for listening so far. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you're still here, I imagine you're happy to get a little more lube. So let's dive deeper. Now, recall how ticklish you felt when I used that trigger to revisit all those sensations a little while ago. This time on waking, you're going to feel like you're being tickled immediately. Only it's not by your hands, it's by your clothes. Your clothes are going to be so ticklish the moment you wake up that you'll want to remove them more than anything. Every single item, every stitch, every thread. For some reason, you don't realise that this is going to lead to you getting naked. That just doesn't register with you. And trying to think about or realise it will only intensify how ticklish those clothes are. Waking in a moment and finding yourself relentlessly tickled until you divest yourself of all your clothing in three, two, one. Wide awake. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. What's happening? I just everything is Are you feeling all right. No, everything oh, is like <laughs> Those clothes don't look very comfortable. No. Are they restricting you or something? Yes. So they're gonna come off. Feeling each 